boy no cut and i'm back again with another one i need you guys to do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification icon for more videos like this that being said let's get into it so a lot of people keep clamoring for Duran is to fight terence crawford um first of all people need to realize the sport of boxing you have to gradually move up to get to that big fight. You can't put Urias in a situation where his young, a luxurious career gets ruined by getting in the ring. He's not getting in the ring with anybody. He's getting in the ring with the best fighter in boxing. This is what you guys need to understand first before y'all come on the internet and say stupid shit. He's getting in the ring with the best fighter in boxing. Jerron Ennis isn't the best fighter in boxing. He hasn't proven that. Crawford has proven that he is the best fighter in boxing. And you going to put that young man in the ring with Crawford? It makes no sense. That's the first thing y'all need to understand. Now, second, you need to pay attention to this article I'm going to read. Boots Ennis... Versus via per salary and payout. Will Jerron Ennis make more money than Rom Roman Villa in their boxing headliner? Jerron Ennis versus Roman Villa headlines the pay-per-view this Saturday. July 8th live from the Borgata Hotel Casino and Spa, Atlantic City. The two welterweight fighters will face each other in a 12-round championship bout for the Interim IBF Weight title. Undefeated Jerry Ennis into the square ring against Colombian knockout artist Ramon Villa. Jerry Ennis versus Ramon Villa headlines the pay per view this Saturday, July 8th, live from the Borgata Hotel, Casino, and Spa, Atlantic City. The two welterweight fighters will face each other in a 12 round championship bout for the interim IBF. Well, to weigh title, undefeated Ryan is enters the square ring against Colombian knockout artist Ramon Villa in high stakes matchup ahead of Ennis versus Villa. Let us look at the fight purses payouts and details. You know, um, Boots Ennis versus Villa's per salary and payouts. Jerron Ennis is the current IBF interim welterweight champion with a professional record of 30 wins and no losses. Ennis entered, he does have a one no contest in there too. Ennis enters the square ring as a strong favorite. The orthodox fighter has knocked out multiple fighters with an undefeated record. In the last fight, he defeated Karen Chukakasin to become the new IBF interim champion. The fight purse for Ennis upcoming belt is yet to be disclosed. However, his previous fight purse is hit at a major paycheck for the champion this week. Here we go. As per the reports, Jerry Ennis won a guaranteed fight purse of 125k. You guys just sit down and look at that. I want you guys to realize when Terrence Crawford fought Hank Lundy, this was what, 2015, 2016? No, it was probably longer than that. Maybe 2014 or something. You guys know Terrence Crawford made 1.2 million all those years ago when he fought Hank Lundy. Jerron Ennis considered one of the best welterweights in the world is getting robbed. I don't know who his promoter is. I don't know who his peoples are. They're robbing this guy. What the heck? Why is this guy making 125 k it makes no sense. And you want to go to the top. You want to jump the line. You're making 125 k and you want to jump the line and go fight a guy who just made 30 mil in his last fight. Do you see how stupid boxing fans are? 
boxing fans, do y'all see how stupid y'all are? You want this man to go from making 125 k to jump the line and go fight Crawford, who's making 30, who just made almost 30 mil a fight. He's not as mandatory. The fight doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for Crawford. Boxing fans want Crawford to take a huge pay cut. A huge pay cut. Just sit down and think about it for a second. Crawford will be taking a pay cut, right? Jerron Ennis will be making his highest payday. Why should I put more money in your pocket while I take a pay cut? For a fight that doesn't even make sense. At this stage of my career, I'm supposed to be fighting in meaningful fights, fights that make sense. Do you guys understand? Why are boxing fans so retarded? Let's go back in time to Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. We're going to get off dry in this for a second. This is the same recycle shit over and over again. Terrence Crawford was already accomplished when he came up to the welterweight division. When he came up, guess what? Earl Spence was in the same situation as Jorianus, but he was making a, just a little bit more money than Jorianus. Well, a lot more. I ain't going to say a little bit more. But guess what? Earl Spence only had one belt when Crawford came up to welterweight. Do you guys know that? Crawford had just came up. He was considered the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. He had just became the first guy to become undisputed in the square boxing at 140. <coughs> right? He just became undisputed at 140 and moved up to 147. He's the number one fighter in the world. He comes up to 147. You know what Earl Spence tells him? Earl Spence tells the number one fighter in the world, Terrence Crawford, to leave his promoter and call Al Heyman. Why are you, t why are you Earl Spence, telling the number one fighter in the world, Terrence Crawford, to leave his promoter and come over to your network. That made no sense. That's why Crawford was like, what the f what the freak is wrong with this guy? I am a three division world champion, an undisputed champion. I'm making more money than you, and you want me to leave my promoter and come to your network just to fight you. It didn't make any sense. That's why Crawford re-signed with Bob Aaron in top rank. Because it didn't make sense. Why is a guy who isn't even a pound for pound talent at that time he wasn't trying to make trying to call the shots? Do you guys see this is the same shit over and over again? This is ridiculous. Why is Earl Spence trying to call the shots when he at that time he only had one belt and he had him he hadn't done shit in the sport of boxing. This is even worse than Earl Spence's situation because Earl Spence was making more than a freaking 125K. Earl Spence was making, like what? Because he had four Kell Brook already because he was a champion. He made like a million dollars or more in the Kell Brook fight. So Earl Spence was making millions. Jerry Ennis is making pennies. They said in his last three bouts, he only made 300K. So he's making 100K, 100K a fight. So let me ask you, stupid, gullible boxing fan. You want Ryan is to go from making 100K a fight to making what? How much do you think he should make? Five to 10 mil against Crawford? He makes... Five times what he's making, or maybe even ten times what he's making, and Crawford takes 
an enormous pay cut? Is this what you boxing fans are saying? You guys, this is what y'all want to happen? You want Ennis to get his biggest payday and you want Crawford to take a pay cut. But you won't even take a dollar off of your paycheck. Do that make sense? Do that make sense? What's wrong with you people? Stop talking boxing. Stay off the internet. Don't talk about Crawford versus Ennis. Ennis needs to build his profile. He needs to go from making 125 k to making his first million before he can even mention his Crawford name. Seriously. This is not just boxing. This is prize fighting. The man needs to at least make a million dollars before he can even mention Crawford name. You understand what I'm saying? It makes absolutely no sense. Crawford's at his at the end of his career. If this man wasn't at, his, at the end of his career, you know what he would have did? He would have said, you know what? I've made millions. You know, I've made millions already. They want me to fight this dude. Bring him on. This dude hasn't fought anybody. I'll step on this this kid. Bring him. I'll, I'll, I'll knock this kid out in less rounds than I did Earl Spence. That's what Crawford would have did. But he's at the end of his career. I'm at the end of the career, my career. Why should I make less money? Like what? I'm at the end of my career and you want me to make less money. It makes absolutely no sense I just wanted to bring this article to you boxing fans and show you people y'all need to be quiet when it comes to the sport of boxing because y'all was playing politics with Earl Spence Earl Spence is making this much pay-per-view Earl Spence is doing this you guys was making up numbers when it came to Earl Spence, y'all was making up numbers. When it comes to Terrence Crawford, I'm not making up numbers. I'm showing you what Crawford's making, and I'm showing you what Jarius is making. The proof is right here. The kid is making 100k a fight. You think Jarius versus Terrence Crawford is a big fight if the guy's making 100k a fight? Do that make sense to y'all? Do that make sense? Financially, do that fight make sense? Why can't you guys just educate yourself on the sport of boxing? Before coming before coming on the internet and, and embarrassing yourself when it comes to the sport of boxing. Some of you guys even want to compare the situation to Earl Spence and Crawford. That's the farthest from the truth. I showed you. I did a list of Crawford and Spence payout. When Crawford was making billions, Earl Spence was making pennies. I can sh I can literally do it again and pull up their purses again and embarrass you guys that want to say, "Oh, you guys are you guys are being Earl Spence now." The Crawford fans are being Earl Spence now. Earl Spence fans. No, we're not. Because Crawford's been making more money than Earl Spence. And then when I bring that up, what do y'all do? Oh, Crawford's been boxing longer than Earl Spence. Of course he was making more money. See? Y'all just keep moving the goalposts. Y'all just keep saying nonsense. First you're saying Earl Spence is making money. When I show you Crawford was making more money... You say because Crawford's been boxing longer. Like, there's no winning with you guys. You guys are retarded. I, I don't even know why I keep going back and forth. I'm just trying to educate the fans that want to listen when it comes to the sport of boxing. You understand what I'm saying? But the ones that say, fight Boots, fight Boots. Tell Boots to get his money up. Get his profile up. This is called prize fighting you understand what I'm saying you cannot fight the number one fight in the world 
making a hundred k a fight. That makes no sense. Unless you is mandatory and the IBF or whatever belt sanctioning body orders that fight to happen. But yes, the IBF ordered it to happen. But at that time, Crawford was locked in the contract. And let me educate you fans some more. Yes, Crawford was locked in a contract. But also, that IBF petition was for Earl Spence. The IBF should have restarted the clock. Because that petition was for Earl Spence. But when the bell sky switched, because Earl lost. The stupid IBF still applied that rule to Crawford, which makes no sense. The man just won the belt three months. Only had the belt for like less than three months. And you want him to go on the negotiations with, with Jirionis when he just got the belt and he t already stated that he was in a two-fight deal with Earl Spence? It makes no sense. He's in a contract where he's obligated to fight Earl Spence twice. And the IBF wanted him to get into negotiation with Jirionis it makes no sense. So they script the man. Makes no sense. But anyway, I'm just educating you casual fangirls on the sport of boxing. It's your boy, no credit. And I'm out. Kino Alvarez is a duck.